Hey guys, uh, Mike with the Modern Polymath here. Today, in video number two, we're going to cover EDC. So, we'll start with the bag. It's a Vertex Gamut, 1.0, not the 2.0. If you've done much YouTubing, you might know that this bag has a secret. Well, it's not so secret since everybody talks about it, but semi-secret compartment on the back. And that is indeed why I keep the fun things. For OPSEC reasons, I'm not going to discuss that. So right here, this flips open. As you can see, all I keep in here so this is a small tape measure, a small ruler. Um, I do a lot of drawing for work, diagrams, uh, sketches, etc. But I'm not so great at drawing, so I like having a ruler. My main toolkit, which we'll get to in just a second. Oh, I do have one thing I forgot. This little guy right here, which I could not even tell you where I got it from, but it is the perfect little reset button pusher on electronics. So that's what that's for. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, drop a like. If you want, subscribe, it'll help me out a lot. And if you have any ideas for future videos, drop a comment. Okay, let's talk about this toolkit real quick. Obviously it's a Max Edition little case. Um, I don't like their backpacks because their stuff is so heavy duty made that their backpacks are too heavy. But for these small bags, uh, this thing will probably last me the rest of my life. I've already had it probably five years and it doesn't even look like it's been used. So, these are my EDC tools. The trusty Leatherman Wave. If you don't know about Nipex Cobras, these are some of the greatest adjusting knives. This is the five inch, obviously a tiny little guy, um, but this thing has so much power. If you want to step up your screwdriver game, this right here is your guy from Weir. That's basically what this is, but you can use it to reach, boom. You're like, oh, I forgot my bits. No worries. There's your bits. My most used cables, which change all the time. This is what I have right now. And some headphones. Okay, I'm gonna quickly talk about the top retention on this. So as I had said, I normally keep this retained here and here. So when I open it up, it opens up like that. But for the purpose of the video, we're gonna open this guy up. Sure, here. One pocket on the back side here. In here, I basically keep flat things. Checkbook, small cloth, waterproof paper thing. I'm not really a paper person, but I keep a little bit just in case. Tile tracker, which we were talking about. 3000 milliamp, just a USB Mofi power guy. Uh, you're gonna see a brick style USB-C charger, not as big or as heavy or as powerful as the one that comes with the laptop. Uh, but it's 65 watts, yep, so it charges decently and uh, it's just way less weight in space than the Apple one. Small network cable in Popol uh, because I do networking stuff at work and then also uh, Popo is a color that we do not use in any infrastructure that I manage. Uh, that way you always know that Popo is the IT guy's cable. Now let's talk about this bottom pocket. You have another longer networking cable. And then lastly, my main dongle. This is an anchor, kind of everything USB-C dongle because having a uh, most recent gen MacBook Pro, it has no ports. Uh, this right here is my main dongle pouch. Um, just different additional dongles. So that's my main dongle stuff. And then this is everything else. Um, I've got some different thumb drives. Like this one's got Win 10 installer already on it. Uh, this guy right here, this little Intel unit. This is like a NUC if you're familiar with the NUCs. This is an entire PC. Plug that into a monitor, boom. Similarly, I have a little Chromecast. Got a two terabyte external hard drive, PC formatted with a lot of my IT tools and stuff like that. Um, I don't have much to say about this yet because I just got it. 
Um, I think it's going to be awesome. I think I'll probably do a dedicated video about it in the future, but that's what I got. All right, we'll get that one. Okay. So, um, like I was saying, um, my EDC is based around this backpack. Obviously, a lot of people don't do that because the moment you don't have your backpack, everything breaks down. Now, I still have the basics on me. But for offset reasons, I'm not going to go into exact details of what those are, how I carry them, where I carry them, etc., etc. But I have my basics covered. Let's just go with that. So, this bag right here, I talked about how I have a tile tracker. In it. And that's because I am 24 7, 365 tracking the location of this bag in my phone. My phone is always on me, like everybody. If this bag gets too far away from me, my phone, my watch, let me know, hey, you left your bag. If I'm heading out to lunch and I left my bag at work, I turn around and go back and get it. Other than like vacations, while well, I couldn't take it because there's a lot of stuff you can't fly with this thing, um, I've had this bag on me 24 7 since the day I got it a few years ago. And uh, I think part of that goes back for me. I'm a Boy Scout, Eagle Scout guy. And in the Boy Scouts, be prepared, right? Uh, don't worry about it being light, just be prepared. So it's taken me a lot of time to learn how to get light on top of prepared. Uh, this bag, well, you know what? We'll wait, we'll find out how much it is. Uh, it probably is heavy, but it's a manageable weight, I can tell you that. It doesn't bother me. I carry this thing with me all over the place every single day. All right. So this will fluctuate from time to time because I put heavier and lighter laptops and things like that in it. But that's roughly what it is. 20 pounds. <laughs> 